as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the BTCC, bear in mind that it is 50 years since the championship first came to Croft. Then, as now, Ford was on the grid and winning. In fact, Ford's contribution to the BTCC has been huge. Back in 1958, Ford Zephyrs graced the BTCC grid thanks to Jeff Uren. And by 1964, we're taking win after win thanks to the mighty Ford Galaxy and the Lotus Cortina that Jim Clark took to the title that year. The Ford Falcon Sprint came next, but the car that really made Ford rack up the wins was the three-litre Capri. There were hordes of them, the fleet led by Gordon Spice. The Capri was a great car to drive. It was very simple. I sort of came, I, I got retired from uh, Formula 5000 and I was rescued basically with the Capri with Stan Robinson, Richard's garage up in uh, County Durham. And he said, would I drive one for him? And it was a car everyone could aspire to. It was every man's boy racing car, and it was a superb car to drive. It was very easy, and um, it was an affordable sort of car. It wasn't like a, uh, a BMW or an Audi or one. It was an every man's car, and it was very quick, which was uh, half the battle. As the Escort RS 1600i and Escort Turbos took class wins, a new Ford was waiting in the wings by the mid-80s. Andy Rouse's American Merca, badged as an XR4 Ti, gave way to a touring car great, the Sierra Cosworth. There were some epic battles between the Sierras, but as they took points off one another, it allowed the drivers in the lower classes to take the title. But in 1990, Rob Gravitt did take the crown in an RS500 before the two-litre era came into effect. Here, the Mondeo established itself as a front-running car in 1994, thanks to Paul Radisic, and Ford even attracted Nigel Mansell into the series in 1998. Ford's Mondeo won the last Super Touring title, courtesy of Alain Menu, since when private teams such as Arena and lately Motorbase have flown the flag for the Blue Oval. With the RS badge back on the grid this season, expect that Ford win rate to keep on rising.